Hey everyone, Joe here. I've had a couple of subscribers asking how I put my videos together. So how I record the screen and the webcam uh, and how I record my voice and the computer audio through Pro Tools as well. So I'm gonna show you my process so that if you wanna record videos or stream your audio productions, you can do it too. So there are four things we're recording. We're recording the screen capture, the webcam, the the microphone for the voice, and the the PC audio uh, for when we're playing back. So if I play back now, you can hear the audio out of Pro Tools, uh, and you can hear my voice separately. So let's start with the video because that's quite straightforward. I use OBS. Uh, it's a free software and you can see that you can record screen capture with it and have a webcam overlay as well. Um, this is pretty much how it is by default when you first install the program. Um, you should have in your sources video capture device and display capture. If you don't, you can hit plus and add any uh, video source you want. Um, and then, yeah, so the video capture device is is picking up whatever webcam you have connected. So you can show or hide that. You can move it around, resize it. And then display capture, again, pretty straightforward. That's capturing uh, my display. And then if you double click on that, you can pick which, if you've got two displays, you can pick, pick which display you're recording from. And then it's a simple case of start recording and, and then you'll be recording a video of whatever you're capturing or start streaming. And you can download that from obsproject.com. I will leave a link in the description below. Now for the audio, it's a little bit more complicated, but it's not too crazy and you can do it for free. So with Windows, there's no real simple way of setting your internal system audio, the, the, the audio that's gonna be coming out of whatever speaker output you have set to. Uh, there's no simple way of kind of routing that as an input. Because if we want to record the system audio, we need to have the system audio as an input, uh, as opposed to, say, a microphone, for example. Now, if you're lucky enough to have an audio interface with a loopback function, um, it will give you a separate audio device in your audio devices list that will say loopback, and, you, and that will let you record uh, your system audio. But if you don't, and my, my audio interface doesn't, you'll need to download Voice Meter. And what installing this is gonna do is if you go into your DAW now, let's have a look in Pro Tools, and go to your playback devices, wherever that's located, you'll find Voice Meter as a virtual ASIO uh, playback engine. So when you select Voice Meter, I use this one, AUX Virtual AS ASIO, that, is going into this virtual input, which is then being rooted out of your uh, your hardware, so you can listen, so you can still listen back. If it sounds a bit confusing, don't worry too much. As long as you've got it set up right, it should work. So now, what we're, what's happening is when we play back, it's routing it to this uh, this voice meter, which is going through this virtual input, um, so we can still hear the output through our speakers, but it's also routing it to that voice meter to be picked up by any any software that you've set to record uh, record voice meter. So now if I hit play, you'll see on OBS, the desktop audio is coming through there. So yeah, the OBS is capturing the desktop feed, the, um, the webcam and the PC audio via voice meter. And then for my voice, uh, because I want that separated, so that's gonna imprint the, the PC audio onto the video file, but then I want the separate uh, voice so I can mix them separately. So I've just got Audacity running in the background um, recording my voice through a microphone which is plugged into my audio interface, Focusrite, and then I've just set that as uh, as Focusrite. Now if I set that as voice meter, it would, it would record the the system audio instead. So you could do it either way. You could have OBS recording your microphone and then Audacity recording uh, recording voice meter, but I just do it this way. Um, I use Audacity because it's very lightweight. It doesn't use much system resources. And when I've got Pro Tools running at the same time, it doesn't cause any issues. And then once I've hit stop on the video recording and stop on the Audacity recording, we just put them together. And then I've got 
everything there, the screen capture, the webcam, the PC audio, and the Audacity audio. Eventually, I'm hoping to get myself um, a different audio interface. I've got no real reason to spend the money just for this loopback feature when this works, but eventually I'll probably upgrade. I think it's something that most audio interface manufacturers will be including because the rise of you know um, streaming and things. But yeah, that's how you do it. Now, if it doesn't work for you, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below, or there are tons of voice meter tutorials on YouTube. Um, I didn't go too far too far into detail with, with setting that up because it's going to depend on your DAW and, and your interface and everything. Um, but it is pretty reliable. Uh, it just takes takes a few minutes to get, get set up before you can get going. Uh, and then you're good to go. So feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below with any questions. And for more audio production tutorials, then hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.